welcome to Hacker Heap. In this video, we will look into how Jump Search works. Jump Search is another search algorithm which works better than the linear search algorithm. The way Jump Search works is by jumping through the indices and skipping a couple of indices and reduce the number of comparisons uh, before you find a number. And Jump Search only works on a sorted array or a list of numbers. So let's go ahead and look into how Jump Search works. Now we know what jump search is. Let's look into how jump search works. So here, given an array A, which has like 16 numbers of starting from 1 to 16 in a sorted way, and the target we need to find is 13, which is at the 13 index. If we perform a linear search, it would take a O of 13. And the worst case, if it's a number 16 that we need to found, that, need to, that we need to find, uh, the worst case would be order of n. So let's look into how jump search works. Jump search actually jumps uh, m number of indices. So how do we calculate m? m is basically the optimal thing is uh, to find the square root of n, n being the length of the array, in this case uh, is 16. So the root of n is m in this case, 4. So now we got the m, we will start by looking at uh, 1 and we will go to 0 plus 4 and the fourth index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 5. And uh, we will go to 6, 7, 8, 9 and 4 plus 5, 4 plus 4 is again 8. That would be 6, 7, 8, 9. This is the index, we will look into it still the target is greater than the value at that particular index, then we will add one more and we'll go to 13 and we would return it. Let's say if the target is actually 10. So once we hear we go to 13 and the target is less than the value, then what we do is we will perform a linear search between nine to 13. We will go back to nine and search for the next element uh, if it's the same value and if not, uh, we will go to the next element. We will do a linear search on this. If we didn't find the element, we would return eventually one. So we will jump from here to here and here to here and here to here. And we will find 13. If it is a 10, we would come back here. And what we'll do is we will do a linear search and go from nine to 10. That's how actually the jump search works. So the worst case time complexity is order of root 10. So now let's go ahead and look into how actually the code looks. I am here on my Spring Tool Suit. I have this class jump search. So let's go ahead and write the actual program for jump search. So I'm going to write a main function which will initialize the array and the target value and we will be calling another function to perform actual jump search. This is my main function. I'm initializing the array A, which will hold all the 16 numbers. I will have the target, let's say 12, as we discussed earlier. Now I will create an object, new jump search using the constructor, and I will hold the index of. If the value is found, uh, I will hold the index uh, in this particular int index value. Now I will call jump dot perform search. Don't worry, it will throw an error. We have to write that perform search operation where we will pass the array and the target value. And I will print out number found at index and the index. If there is no number found, it would be minus one. So now let's go ahead and uh, write the actual jump search function. I'll write the function int return type, which will return the index, perform search. So this will take the array as an input and the target to find. The first thing we need to do is to find the m, which is, as we talked, uh, is the square root of the length of the array. So we want to bound it to the nearest value. 
math dot rt of a dot length all right now we got the jump value which we use uh, to jump initially current last index so we need this uh, to perform if the value at that index is uh, actually greater than the target we need to perform a linear search so we need to hold the current last index right now it would be minus one the while current last index is less than a dot length and target is greater than a of current last index now if the value is less than the target uh, if the value is greater than the target we need to perform the linear search so for that what i'm doing is for int i is equal to current last index minus m so we need to start from the previous uh, search index uh, m plus one that would be the i and i less than or equal to the current last index index and also i should be less than the length of the array and i would increase i we are performing basically the linear search here if the target is equal to a of i what i'm doing is uh, return i because we found the element else if we didn't find the element we would return minus one so all we are doing is we are jumping through the indices uh, until if you find the target or if the target is uh, greater than the current last index uh, and we are incrementing the current last index uh, to that and then what we are doing is we are actually performing a linear search starting from the previous uh, comparison and then until the current last index uh, so let's go ahead and run this so yeah it returned uh, the index 11 where actually the number 12 is let's go ahead and uh, give some number which is not there i guess 17 which is not there so let's go ahead and run it it will give minus one let's go ahead and give number one it should give zero there you go we got the index zero so i hope it helps uh, and this is how actually jump search works uh, it performs the operation in order of root and time now we have seen how jump search works let's look into the pros and cons of jump search the pro is uh, it's better than the linear search and you can find a number in a sorted array in order of root n times compared to order of n which is the time complexity for linear search and the cons are you can only perform the jump search on a sorted array or list and the time complexity of jump search is still more than the time complexity of a binary search which performs the operation in order of log n times i hope this helps if you like the video, please smash the like button and please do subscribe to the channel Hacker Heap and please do share with your friends. Thank you for watching.